The Ghost Bride by Elizabeth Ellen Carter Prologue, 31 October, 1884 Mummy, why do you never wear this ring? Jemima Rhodes, securing her diamond ear bobs, looked at her ten-year-old son in the reflection of the dressing table mirror. Benjamin held up the small circle of gold and black enamel. Jemima knew the piece well, although it had been many years since she'd last looked at it. The boy's question attracted the attention of his older sister, who abandoned rummaging through her mother's jewellery box to turn her regard to what her brother had found. It's no surprise she wouldn't wear such a thing, twelve-year-old Rebecca declared. There's a skeleton on it. It's a gruesome piece. It's a memento mori ring, Jemima answered. It's to remember someone who died. At that moment, Montague Rhodes walked into the bedroom, wire-rimmed spectacles at the end of his nose, sandy hair streaked here and there with silver that only made him look more dashing in Jemima's eyes. Who died? Monty asked, looking up from his book. Jemima cast him a meaningful look. Darling, the children have found Isabeau's ring. Ah. Their father's sober reaction stole the children's attention immediately. Who's Isabeau? Rebecca demanded. I know of no relative with that name. Jemima held her husband's gaze. Do you think it's time, she asked. Monty considered it. They're still children. But I'm nearly eleven, protested Ben. What is it, Papa? asked Rebecca. Is it some great family scandal? Oh, please do tell. Jemima sighed. She supposed they were old enough now to know the story. Remembrances of that strange spring still intruded into her dreams, but only occasionally. There were just echoes of the past, mere shadows that disappeared once she opened her eyes. And yet, there had been a time when she had been awake, eyes wide open, and saw things that ought not to be there. She had come face to face with a malevolence that tried to end her life, and Monty's too. Her husband watched her closely. She knew it would be her decision whether or not the tale would be told. They had the time. Their dinner guests were not expected to arrive for at least another hour. The ring was now in Jemima's hand. She rubbed a thumb across it, feeling the uneven surface. The skull of the gold skeleton stared emptily from its black eye sockets. I think they're old enough to know. Monty leaned down and kissed her softly before sitting down beside her. To know what? asked Rebecca. Monty answered, How I met your mother, and how I very nearly lost her.